Welcome back to the Northern Dunedain campaign, where we are under attack by Captain Saguf. Hopefully, this is going to be the last offensive action that the Goblins of Moria do in this campaign. When we destroy this army, they don't have too many things left. Aragorn is on his way towards Goblin Town. They look quite weak. Uh, we need to take this army down as well, but I don't think that they have the offensive capabilities after this attack. So we need to win here. It's really important that we do. Because I really want to wipe out the goblins once and for all. Just be done with them. No focus on them anymore. That would be beautiful. Let's take a look at their army once again. Uh, nothing scary here. We have the archer power. We should be able to win. We need to kill the general though. He's in the ballista unit. That is actually not that nice. Because that means that he might stay alive for a long time. That's actually quite problematic, but nonetheless, we're going in and we're going in to delete everything in our path. Let's do it. Attack. I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that their general is in the ballista unit. I don't like that at all. I do not. Uh, okay. Spears, volunteers. Where is, where is the square? It's over here, okay. Let's take a look. Volunteers, let's see what we can do. I really want to make sure that we get to shoot at them effectively. Stand over here for now. And... Okay, stand over there for now. And one can stand over there. Start the battle. You are going to stand over there. And take that off for now. These rangers. Try and harass them while we wait for them. While they're moving. Run into position. And we need to tie them up. They're likely going to try and rush for the bloody square again. I'm sensing that they are. These volunteers are going to try and hold the line. I'm not sure how we should form up. The strategy the last time when we moved here didn't work too great. It was a... Well then again, we didn't get here in time. My guys were too slow. Let's see. I mean, we could probably stand over here and uh, get some solid shots off on them. Take that off for now. We want to fire where they are the most grouped. Somewhere around there. Let's see if we can do some... We should be able to get some solid shots here. This is a pretty decent position for the archers to be on. Um, are they firing? They're beginning to fire some of them. Let's take a look. Are we doing any damage? It looks like we are. That's good. Yeah, their general is in this unit. That's the problem. He is not... That's really not that great. We don't like that. We could try and rush down to try and assassinate the general. I'm going to do that. Let's send one of the Breland militia down. He's gonna, they're going to run there. And we're going to try and rush down. Rush all the way around and move for their general. He needs to die. Otherwise, these guys, even though it's only a captain, these guys are going to stay in combat far longer if we don't kill him. So we have to try and destroy him. 1% of the army has been killed. It's going to take a long time for you to get down here. Okay. Stop. It's not going to be effective. Good pull back. We're going to try and uh, form up defensively here instead. If we can. I'm going to risk these Breedland Militia forces here and try and sneak over to the general. It's going to be a risky move. They're already closing in though. Are we going to get there in time? I'm not sure that we are. think so we're likely not we are likely not okay let's let's start fighting here for the first parts of the battle Brilla militia you're gonna be the ones fighting them holding them here for a little while we're gonna begin the fighting here one of the rangers are gonna stand here as well trying to just make them group up Ah, uh, I don't like this. This sucks that the general is in the ballista unit. It's not good at all. Uh, we're 
warmed up. These guys are likely exhausted already. They've been running a long way. Just hold here. Hold here, Brila Militia. Try and tire their army out completely. Mountain Orc Hunters, fire at those guys. Absolutely. Are they trying to push through? No, they're stopping. That's good. Just fire everything you have at the Mountain Orc Hunters. That's a really viable target to fire on. They are actually pretty scary. Look at them. They're so slow. They're already exhausted. I'm betting. Weaken these guys as much as possible. We're getting a fair few kills on them. Uruk is here doing their chanting. Boosting morale. Or Hunters are already shaken. Yeah, they're going to be pretty damn exhausted when they move up here. Naga skirmishers. Abrilan militia is holding pretty solid at the moment. We're going to fight some mountain orc hunters soon, though. That's going to be problematic. But they're doing well. Remember, these guys have warmed up, and these enemies are probably exhausted, all of them. So my spears are likely doing far better than they should do here. Uruk of Isis, they have a lot of those units. These rangers are getting a lot of kills here. It's beautiful to see. We've killed 7% of their army already. Things are looking great. And look at my Breland militia. They're actually doing well. For once. They're killing a lot of their troops here. They are beginning to drop though, but they are doing well. They're weakening the enemies. Holy of Fire. Are they trying to push now, maybe? It looks like they might want to. But my Brilliant Militia is holding, still. Still warmed up as well. They're fighting exhausted troops, they're warmed up. They have the hill advantage. No, we don't want to fire here. Wait for them to group up even better before we start firing. 165 guys remaining. They're beginning to push through here might want to consider falling back soon with the uh, rangers look at them they're shaking all of them rook over here so just staying there fire some shots at the goblin infantry i have to say the breland militia has done well uh, they have uh, defended this area heroically we're gonna let them defend until they're completely dead as well Just slow the enemy down. The good thing here is that the enemy is not pushing. Should we just reinforce this area? I mean, we have them locked here. Send one of the volunteers over as well. We might actually want... Maybe we should fight in this area. Send one of the volunteers down before it's too late. Uh, my militia is still holding pretty solid. Um, just firing the blobs here. In the back. They're really grouped up here. Keep up the fire there. Breland Militia is holding for dear life. And my rangers are doing a lot of work. Doing a lot of work against this horde. This goblin horde that is approaching us. We've killed 16%. Um, most of the kills is likely from the rangers, of course. They're doing massive amounts of damage at the moment. Oh, they really have a horde, alright. But remember, all of them are exhausted. That's the good thing. The volunteers are on their way here. Send them over. I want them to be in Goblin. Let's walk down this path. Let's try and stay fresh. These guys are still holding. The lines are beginning to drop. Pretty fast. These volunteers are going to do a mighty fine job against these units that they're up against soon. Oh, this is a nice block fire here. Oh, look at them. They have so many units. But nothing <clears throat> that can do too much damage. The Mountain Oak Hunters, of course. But we're weak in them. The Brilla Militia have done well. Oh, look at that. One Goblin Infantry is pu pushing through here. Okay. If you move up further here. And if the Volunteers... Oh, look at that. They're breaking us. Oh, 
hold the line there. Uh, we have some survivors, 41 guys. Oh, look at the blob. Look at this insanely large blob. These volunteers should be able to hold the line for quite some time. As long as they don't push everything they have into this unit. We should be able to hold here. For a long time it looks like they might want to push though. Yeah, they're just running through. Most of the troops are doing that. Oh, look at the hordes. The goblin hordes. Let's see how well these volunteers can do. Look at the dead bodies. 23% <laughs> of the arm has been killed. We have lost 15. Uh, remember, it's only the Breland militia unit that has been destroyed. These guys are holding insanely well at the moment. They're doing a mighty fine job. Every attack that they're doing at the moment is likely a kill. They're still just warmed up and they're fighting exhaust troops. So They're likely doing really good here. looks like they've stopped now. That's good. Uh, they're not pushing. They might want to start pushing soon though. I'm sensing that they might. We could even go for the arcing shot here. It would be every single arrow would hit a target. So oh, It looks like they are pushing through here. You are out of ammunition. Retreat back to the square. Stand over there somewhere. And let us prepare for the upcoming attack from the goblins. Let these volunteers duke it out over here. They're gonna fight until they're dead. We're not gonna retreat with them. Oh, here we go. Here they come. Here comes the push. The great goblin push is about to happen. Uh, we are going to push you, both of you, forth. Not sure. Do we want to stay on the square? Because then they might not even push further. Or should we just stand over here to get some good opportunities to get some solid shots off? Let's move over there. Oh, they're pushing through, all right. These guys are shaking. They're getting totally surrounded. They're doing some shooting as well. They're likely doing a lot of friendly fire. Yeah, they're doing a lot of friendly fire here with their snag archers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, th this push, man. This, this pushing strategy that the AI does is really painful. It is, because they're breaking your troops so easily when they're doing it. Wait for their arrival. Hold the line, lads. Hold the line. Okay, wait for them to be... Re there we go, they're pretty clumped up now. Fire in the blobs. We have a few extra Brila Militia that should be able to hold the line. We have some Dunedain Rangers as well that could fight if things turn... Bad. Keep up the fire, lads. Looks like they've stopped here. Uh, it doesn't look like they want to fight here, so if you move back, we don't want them to go after my rangers. Okay, they're going in here. Maybe we should try and move over here and just flank them from different areas. We're not going to engage with these guys just yet. Wait. Here we have something. Breland militia, tie them up. Bruko Vesis, you're just going to engage here. There we go. We have them blobbed up here. That's good. I don't like their chain. Oh, they're they moving back. It looks like they are. Keep up the fire in the main blob. In the blobbed up area. These guys are pushing through. Mm, don't like
like that. Attack these guys in the back. They are going to flank us here. Uh, let's take a look. They're sending more troops up here. A lot of them are wavering. Some of them are wavering, not everyone. Okay, they're shaking. My guys are fighting their hearts out, and we are doing a lot of damage to them. Here come some more reinforcements. They still have a lot of troops not yet in the fight. Mountain Orc Hunters, 77 of them. Maybe we should move closer. Stand over here instead with this unit. You can stay where you are. Oh, you're broken again. <laughs> okay. You can never trust the Breland Militia to do their part. It looks like the Overseers are not doing anything, so we're not going to go for them. You are going to move over here and see if we can break these guys that are flanking us. As I've said, their general is still over there and we cannot get to him. Snaga archers are filling up. We're beginning to lose a few troops. You're in the perfect position to fire on their sides. Do that now. Breland Militia, move in. Try and break some forces. have lost half their men. Go for a charge here. 52% of their army has been killed. We need to remember to train all of our troops later. We might need to send in the rangers here soon. They're firing at us with their snug archers. That's not nice. Go for the orc hunters. Could you like pull back a little bit here? Don't take shots from these snagas. A lot of them are shaken. We still have a lot of troops that we need to destroy. Go in for them. Uh, Rangers, go into melee with them. Stop them from throwing their javelins and whatnot. They're trying to go for the square. 58%. My Rangers are destroying these hunters in melee. And they're sending forth their Snaga skirmishers as well. My volunteers are beginning to lose a fair few troops. My spears are holding the line like absolute chads, though. They're doing so well. They're so, de so bloody good when they're in their formation, their spe spear wall. Snagger skirmishers are broken. Orc hunters should break within seconds. They're beginning to drop. The Snaga archers are still firing at my bloody rangers. Pull back even further. They're actually doing a lot of damage to me as well, because of the fact that they have so many archers. There we go, these guys are broken. Kill as many as you can, but don't go into combat. Go back, stay as a reserve unit. Keep up the fire. They're no longer firing at us. They're going to start firing at us again, though, because they're moving after us. Go back over here, then. Take this area instead. Really would like to have these guys in combat instead. Oh, my spears, man. They're so bloody good. Yeah, put back to a safer location. 70% of their force has been killed. It's going well. These guys are firing probably at my ranges over there. Back off even more. Keep up the fire in the main blob. And fast forward. I don't think that they have the strength anymore to even have a chance here. The snag archers are beginning to go into melee combat as well. That's good news. I think we can finally risk moving here now because they don't have any ranged troops anymore. So let's move over here with our um, rangers and let's get into a better position to maximize the damage. Go for the mountain oak hunters. They're really, they're really horny for the square, these goblins. Yeah, look at them. Look at the numbers. They're dropping. We've killed 84% of their force. You're done. You're going to be sent into melee soon. Actually, I'm going to use you against the Uruk of Isis, I think. 43 against 452. 
weaken them a bit with Archer Fire. You are going to charge these guys in the back. The Uruk Overseers are quite a scary unit, honestly. They are quite scary, so we don't want to risk losing our general. There we go, they're all broken. We did lose a fair few troops here. The battle is very much in our favor. Uruk Overseers are about to be wiped out. There we go, 95% of the Rome has been killed. They still have their general left. Um, I think... Send the rangers over. We're likely going to take a few shots, though, from the Ballista. But I really want to take out the general. I'm going to pause recording here and return when we are at the Ballista engagement. We are finally here. The timer is almost out, but we have engaged the Ballista. Uh, so... Oh, they're retreating. Try and just chase them away. These guys are fresh, though, and my guys are winded. Try and chase. I kind of want... Because I think that this army is going to survive if we don't kill their general here. Oh, look at that. They're going into my units instead. They're losing a few. Enemy general fallen. Good. Perfect ending. Uh, this was actually a bit more problematic. Let's continue while we wait. This was actually more problematic than it had to be. The fact that the general was in the ballista unit over there made their guys a lot harder to break. Look at the amount of dead bodies, though. <laughs> we kill a lot of them. Uh, their entire army has been killed. So that is a good thing. Uh, but um, it was a bit more problematic than I wanted it to be. Let's uh, exit the battle. The enemy are utterly vanquished. We lost 520 units, but remember, uh, the volunteers are going to respawn, and hopefully we can train these units instantly. Uh, we need them because we have an Angmarim full stack pretty close to us. Uh, but this goblin army is done, and hopefully, as I've said before, this is the last offensive action that the goblins are able to take in this great war. It does feel great to execute this fully stacked goblin army. Angmar. Uh, they are falling back. Are they going for Dead Man's Dyke instead? It looks like they might do it. Well, I'm not going to complain. Let's keep the army in the fort. If they want to attack Dead Man's Dyke, they can. We have forces there. End of turn report. Uh, production number 9. That's, we're getting there. Bilbo Baggins, aspiring commander. Uh, let's retrain the rangers and the other troops whenever we can. I'm not sure when the bloody script is going to happen with... Um, get some more rangers here. With uh, Edit Lewin. I have no idea when it's going to pop off. It should happen soon. I want it to happen, as I've said. Uh, I really want it to. Um, I'm not sure that I want them to be enemies of us, but I want the script to happen to just make sure that nothing is wrong. Uh, the Dunlending army that stood outside of Metriath has marched north for some reason. Uh, well, if Bree could weaken them a little bit, when, then why not? Uh, we're still gonna keep these guys inside here, because if they attack Metriath, we want to have a decent army. They're no longer attacking Tharbad either. What on earth is going on? Yes, my lord. Uh, could you move a little bit further? I really, really want some more vision. With honor. How about over here? This there we go. That's enough. Fall back to Tharbad. Tharbad is a really good region for us. We're going to want to grab the bridge of Tharbad as soon as we can. Because then we can get the Tharbad Royal Guard. And they are pretty damn good. So, um... The Bridge of Tharbad is also a building we really want to grab. We have 1.5 thousand gold coins in the bank. Is there anything cheap, economical? We could go for Dead Man's Dyke. is not producing anything at the moment. What could we go for here? Communal farming, two turns only. 1.2 thousand. Blacksmith would be great as well. Steward's Hall would also be decent. Let's go for the cheap farms. It's only two turns, so let's go for that. Aragorn, oh, look at them, they've grouped up into one army, a bigger army. 
But if we destroy yes. this army here, ignore this little army. If they want to go for Fenas Druinin, it's fine because we are going to be able to destroy them. We have the Dunedain militia garrison here, so ignore this army. We don't care for this army. But this army, though, on the other hand, we have to destroy. Bloody hell, they're just um, pulling armies up from their ass. This shouldn't be a problem, though. They don't have a general. Uh, they have a warg pack unit and two units of wargs. Uh, those guys can be scary, but other than that, they are absolutely just trash. Uh, we should move in and take this army out, and then hopefully the road towards o Goblin Town is the first target we're going for. The road towards Goblin Town should be cleared. Let's move into combat. We attack. Let's wipe this army out as pain-free as possible. Let's try and not lose many troops. We don't have too many melee forces anymore. Uh, we have a few, but we are beginning to drop. Uh, we didn't retrain everything. But we have the ranged superiority, uh, as always. We always have that. Do like that. Cavalry, I want you, as always, to weaken the wargs as much as you can. Spears. Shield wall, defensive mode. Aragorn, you're going to be a frontline unit. Start the battle, they're all the way over here. Okay. They're all the way over there. Well then, let's form up into this area. With our troops. We're of course gonna try and lure them over to us. Uh, we don't want to engage them. Begin by trying to weaken their wargs. Uh, the warg pack, mainly. Uh, that's a unit that can really dish out a lot of damage. So let's try and weaken the Borg pack with our Dunedain Ranger Scouts. And while you march, take this off because it's going to take you ages to move if you have that on. Uh, they're waiting for us to engage. We're just going to go around this area and start weakening down their Borg pack. Really want to upgrade this unit because I do, if I do remember correctly, this unit lo looks absolutely insane when you upgrade them, uh, their armor. They look absolutely insane. So I really want to upgrade them. I'm not sure if we can upgrade them when we're doing the Arnor uh, road. Hope that we can, but I'm not sure. High King Aragorn deserves to have the finest armor on the field of battle. Okay, they're beginning to move a little bit. Um, we're not going to be too scared of that. There we go. The war pack is over there. Focus that disgusting unit down. This is such a scary unit. There we go. We're weakening them, hopefully. They have multiple hit points. It's going to take a while before we start getting kills on them. But, yeah, there we go. They're beginning to drop a little bit. Keep up the fire on them. Orc hunters. Do they want to try and throw their javelins at me? Go back here. Don't get too close to these javelin hawks. Oh, wait, there we go. They're grouping up a bit. That's good. Oh, they're likely in range to us. Fall back. These wargs might at any second start rushing after us. Archers, get into position. I want you to weaken the wargs with crossbows that they have. We're doing a lot of damage to these warg packs. That's good. Yeah, they're getting closer, these warg scouts. Try and annihilate them. Yeah, the warg pack is just eating up the damage. That's brilliant. Everyone, focus down these warg scouts. Look, four remaining. There we go. They're dropping. They only have one guy remaining. Kill him. Kill him. I don't want him. There we go. He's dead. Good. Those guys are no more. Brilliant. Warg pack threat has been dealt with. We are dealing with the warg scout threat as well. They're standing here eating up the damage. Exactly what we want. Just get rid of these warg scouts. You are going to support against these scouts as well. 31. Keep up the foe. They're grouping up into one. <laughs> They're going together. That's actually good because then we can wipe up that both of the units at the same time. You're gonna get here and support. 
against the wargs here. I wonder if the general is in one of these units. I think so. They're firing it at Aragon. Focus this unit down. Both of you, all of you, you can begin focusing this unit down. You cannot reach. Halt. Don't follow. See if we can assassinate their general with our Dunedain scouts here. Oh, he's still alive. He's running to safety. Melee line, go forwards a little bit. Archer line, move forwards as well. I want to try and get into range on their main line troops now. Black pit crossbows. Keep up the fire on the jet. There we go. We're still firing on him. Cut back. Let's see if we can assassinate the general here with our scouts. He is close to us. He's the last guy alive now. <laughs> Poor bastard. Is he bloodied up? Yes, he's bloodied up. There we go. He's dead. Brilliant. Well done. Their general is dead and um, they haven't done anything yet. Go away, Cav. Uh, let's see if we can charge them down. Archers, keep up the fire. Fire on their main line. Weaken them as much as you can. They're firing at my wardens. Let them. Let's have an archer duel with them. If that's what they want, then why not? They're not going to fare too well against me. Yeah, they're doing some work against me, but uh, they're firing at my Dunedon bodyguard. He's going to replenish, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're broken. Go forwards more. Archers. You're going to follow. Keep up the fire. They're moving for me now, it looks like. Cav, you're ready to charge. Should we chase away these broken troops while we are waiting for the battle to actually begin? Let's tie, tie up these Naga skirmishers. We don't want them to throw their things at us. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage to them here. Battle has begun. The battle has begun, and um, I don't think they're going to fare too well here. They're chasing me with some goblin band. Ignore those guys. Let's charge them in the back with a cab. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, Goblin Infantry is actually moving forwards here. They're ignoring my front line and going straight for my archers. You know what? Go into melee with them. Go into melee. Uh, these Woodland Hunters are going to help. They're going to fire in their backs here and hopefully break them quickly. This should break this unit. You're stuck with these Snaga Stalkers. Ignore them. Uh, wavering. They're broken. Good. Everyone is broken here. Give chase. You are going to focus on something else. Focus down those units instead. Give chase. We don't want them to return. Uh, go for charge in the backs of these units. These guys should break soon. Pop the ability. That might quicken it up a little bit. We want, as I've said, to destroy this entire army because we don't want them to fall back to a city that we want to take later. I think you have done enough now. Stop firing. You're just going to do friendly fire now. Actually, fire at the Snugger Stalkers in the back there. Keep up the chase, Cav. Kill everything in your path. We're likely going to break these Stalkers by just firing on them with Archer Fire. The enemy Continue. The field. Pursue and, run them down. and stop firing. Let the cab chase everything down. Yeah. 
Great work. Great work in this one. We didn't lose a lot. We lost 9% of our force and we had annihilated yet another goblin army. Their defenses are not strong anymore. They don't have anything left to stop me with. Goblin Town is open. Kameth Brin is open. Should be quite the easy time to get inside of Goblin Town. And that's enough. Exit the battle. Heroic victory. Lost 99 guys. And we absolutely smashed this goblin force. Dundine Rangers got the most kills. Uh, Dundine Scouts. Well, they did capture a lot of units, but they didn't get too many kills. The Dundine Scouts are so incredibly good for you when trying to deal with these wargs. The warg packs and those kinds of troops, they really are the masters of destroying wargs from range. Because you don't want to send another cavalry unit into the wargs because then they're going to lose. But they have ranged abilities so that they're really good against wargs and warg packs. Good work here. The road towards Goblin Town and Kamath Brin is open. Great, great. There we go. Uh, we didn't lose too many troops in this fight here. Yeah, that's really good. Enemy camp sacked. Some extra bucks. Ignore this army. Uh, we don't need to. We can just do it like this and attack it. And hopefully they're going to withdraw. There we go. Move for Goblin Town. They don't have a big army inside. They might be recruiting troops though. Uh, they don't have any armies. The goblins are really thin now. We could nip in and take Kameth Brin before we go uh, to Goblin Town. Because they only have one guy. We should, we're likely going to be able to just auto win that battle. If they don't have any defensive building here. This is a castle. Maybe we should go for Kemeth Brin first. Secure that and then move for Goblin Town after. D depends. If they're getting a lot more forces here in Kemeth Brin, if they're recruiting a lot of troops, then we're not going to go for it. If they're still just empty and it's only this guy inside, then we are going to go for Kemeth Brin. But for now, no. Kalunik is safe because of the fact that we have Thorbad. We have a Decent army in here. What what, or what kind of troops are we going to be able to get here? Brila militia, arch militia, Duna, Dine troops. No, um, no done landing troops. No. No, but this is counted as a Duna Dine region, I guess. That's probably why. All right, I'm. Pretty pleased uh, on how situations are looking. We have Thorbad in our hands with a decent garrison that should be able to hold for quite some time. We are pushing the goblins to the brink of destruction. As soon as the goblin threat is done, things are going to be a lot easier for us. It's going to be smoother. And when we take My Goblin Lord. Town, we have a diplomat ready. Yes. And they have a force here that is not going to be able to do As anything. When we take yes. Goblin Town, we are going to receive a lot of money and we are going to be able to start this building the house of kings finally send it on let's see what they do here the goblins are they going to try and go uh, defending kemeth brin or will they go to goblin town what will they do um with us destroying the goblins. The high elf faction should really be doing quite alright. Their threat in the north is gone. I think that they're at war with Dunland. Maybe even the high elves should be able to do some work against Dunland. The high elves are a passive faction, but they have a few settlements now. They might be able to do something for once. The Dunlandings are attacking Tharwad with a tiny army. Let them do that. Um, doesn't matter. We are going to destroy them. Oskiliath retaken. Well done, Gondor. Well done. The One Ring has been located at Goblin Town. I don't want to take the ring. Not yet. I don't want to take it. We don't want to go down to Mordor yet. Kemeth Brin is still open. Let's go in for Kemeth Brin. Yeah, they have another army. Let's go for Kemeth Brin. It's open. Let's go for it. We shall engage. We shall prevail. Land clearance yes. over at Keloniac. Let's go for the row. No, go for the meeting hall because he is not free upkeep. Let's go for the meeting hall first. Ostsul, we're training a few troops here. Deadman Strike is retraining troops. Keep retraining forces here. We cannot retrain these guys quite yet. I'm really hoping that these 
this angry force is going to attack the fort there. Look at that. Look at Bree. They're like, they're guarding me. Bilbo Baggins is guarding Fornost. He's standing here. He's guarding us. That's great. That's great to see. One thing that I really want to grab is the... The school. I want the culture to be at 80% when we go for the House of Kings. I want to make sure that we can get the Sons of Numenor. Your orders. We talked to them, right? Yes, we did. As you Let's move down, try and grab uh, the Kingsmen, the Lamroth and Gondor. We still tomorrow's haven't talked to them. The goblins might attack me with these armies, but if they do, it's no problem, we can deal with them. Fenas Druin is not getting a building. Dunedain Barracks should probably be that. Yeah, let's go for the Dunedain Barracks here. Yeah, we want to be able to get some better troops here. Let's go for that. When can we get a new general? Two turns. We want a new general. We need a new general. Ranger Hideout can also get a building. We should go for the Mason's Guild Hans whenever we have the money for it. We have gotten the way station here. That's going to push up the law bonus here. Hopefully we can send in a general there. This guy is a decent one. Eorthon, he has a, some decent traits here. The new recruit that we're getting here, the new Dunedain bodyguard that we're going to get at Fenestroinin, is going to stay. And Eorthon is going to march to the Ranger hideout in order to free up Halbar out of the north uh, from sitting over at the Ranger hideout. Well, good. Dunland, strike me at Tharbad, please. I don't want to sally forth. I just want you to attack me because you're going to be absolutely annihilated over there by my towers. I'm still not sure what the other Dunland army was doing. They were standing outside of Mithrite and then they went into Breland territory and now I'm not sure what they're doing. Let's see if they attack me. I want Dunlin to attack me. They are attacking Matrai with that army. That's actually really good. That's really good. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. Matrai is only a town though, but it's far better for us if we can defend here. We have some decent you have three rangers here. This is really good. This is the scary Dunlending army we were talking about. They have Orthanc Wardens in here, they have Orthanc Guard. Uh, it's really good that they are attacking me with this army. It's really good. Anumina's Fairground. Go for the school here. I want the culture to be at 80. Deadman's Dying, Communal Farming. Let's go for the Blacksmith here. If this army gets into range with these Breland forces, we are going to try and move out and take them out. Okay, it looks like they have abandoned Kamath Brin. We should be able to out resolve here. Let's do it. Clear victory. Well done. I think we're going to need to sack it in order to keep the peace. Repair this one and go for the library quickly. Can we leave this one with only him inside? 65%. Let's leave something else then. Uh, Lumberman. It's going to make it blue. Good. Your orders, my lord. Let's move for the final boss, Goblin you. Town. They are actually producing a, far, a lot of troops now. How many, tra how many retinues? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have 8, which means that you're not going to be able to pull up the ring. Which is great, because we don't want the ring yet. We don't need it. Uh, it's too early, still, for us to take the ring. Yes, my lord. Move over there, yes. get a fort yes. or a tower, yes. and yes. then go for Goblin yes. Town. If they want to attack us, let them do that. We're going to wipe them out. It looks like they have a f quite a lot of wargs in this one. Yes. Not a fan of that. Not a fan at all. We're producing buildings almost everywhere. It's also really good. Angmar is moving into Breland territory. Not sure why. Yes, my lord. Diplo, keep moving. Yes, my lord. I shall continue we tomorrow. need to secure <coughs> Goblin Town quickly, eh? because if we don't, uh, Angmar might try and grab Kemeth Brin from us, and we don't want that to happen. 
So we need to secure Goblin Town, give it away, and then secure Kemeth Brin so that Angmar doesn't go here. Uh, let's end the turn again. Let's see if Dunland strikes me. I really don't want to sell it forth at all, but I just want him to strike me. So that my towers can do the work for me. Let's see if Angmar attacks my fort. Mordor. Dogutur, Isengard, Dunlendings. Shagflak is attacking me. They actually have a general here. Uh, this is not the nicest army. They have four warg packs with them and one warg unit. Mm, everything else is garbage, but these five warg units can be pretty damn problematic. The rest is garbage, but the wargs, man, they can be really scary. Well, let's move into combat. This is our last test before the goblins are no more. Let's move in. Master your all of my archers are gonna have to try and wipe out these disgusting wards. Um, we have a few spears down, that's really good. Uh, these Sons of the Fallen are still quite intact. Uh, that's good that we have spears, they're gonna have to hold the line. Aragon, I don't want you in the front lines this time. We don't want you to get charged by the warg pack, we don't want to lose you. We don't want there to be a single chance for the enemy to kill Aragon. Okay. This is some decent positioning, I think. Aragorn, stay in the back. Support the archers. If something gets close to the archers, we want you to support that. Dunedain scouts. Uh, they're attacking me. Start whittling down the wargs. That's what you need to do. Their melee forces, just as always, no threat to us at all. Uh, they're not going to win them this battle. Oh, they have one warg pack on this flank. If the scouts go to the flank where they have a lot of wargs and start weakening them there, my main archer line is going to try and weaken them that are over there. Actually, it looks like they're moving to other areas. Go to this side then instead, uh, scouts. These Brelanders are not going to be able to hold the line too great, I don't think. Go to this side. Rangers, can you reach uh, some of these wargs? Warg riders you could fire on. One of you. Start firing on them. Start weakening them. Surely you should be in range. You're in range. Fire at them. Okay, you're not in range anymore. I'm not sure what is going on here with you. Go back, go back to that position. Scouts, move over to this these war pack units. Start whittling them down. Focus the war packs. Get rid of them. Firing at the melee forces, that's not the troops we want you to fire on. Keep the focus on the wargs. You're still firing at the goblin band, guys. I'm telling you, fire at the warg pack. You're, they're not listening to me. Uh, there we go, now they're firing at the warg pack. Follow them. Follow them, weaken them as much as you can. Maybe we need to go even closer to them. There we go, get as close as you can. Make sure that every shot hits. You're still firing at the bloody goblin band again. Don't waste your ammunition on them. They're no threat to us. Fire at the warg pack. That's the only unit we need to focus down. There we go, we're weakening them quite good here. Be prepared if they want to charge after my uh, scouts. We need to be prepared quickly to run away. Um... Doing a fair bit of work against them here. They're not doing anything, they're not reacting, so stay this close and just keep up the fire. And as soon as we're done, pull back. Uh, they're attacking us, so. Okay, they're going for me now. It looks like. Kite away. 
They're not going for me wholeheartedly. Okay, maybe they are. They're charging. They're fast. These walk packs are pretty fast when they're charging. So we need to keep the distance. But we are do dealing a lot of damage to them here. The walk packs have been critically weakened already. It's a huge deal. You're about to be done with your shots. You're done. Pull back to safe area. Remember, they are the ones attacking us. There's no need to rush it here. Look at that. We're dropping these walk packs a lot with these Dunedain Scouts. The Dunedain Scouts have been absolute chads in this campaign. They're not good at just... Char okay, they're moving for me now. Follow the main army. Archers. Uh, the ones that have the range. Walk riders. We have a walk pack unit over there. But we want to focus down. Are these guys just going to charge me? They have two walk packs over there. Fire at the walk pack instead. They are the scariest unit that they have. You can reach as well. Fire at them. You can not reach here yet. I want you to fire at this war pack unit whenever they arrive. You can reach now. Start whittling them down. Go for guard mode. Just don't engage them yet. Let them throw their javelins. It doesn't really matter. Okay. We need to make sure that these wolves don't... Uh, Disrupt and go after my archers. It looks like they're going straight for the front lines. Keep up the walk, but they're going in. They're gonna hurt my brilliant militia here quite a lot. Uh, they only have 12 walk pack over there. Uh, Cav, not sure you're gonna do too well here, but go after this unit here. Stop it, destroy it, even though they outnumber you so hard here. Oh, they, uh, they are, don't outnumber you, but they're really effective against cavalry. They're going in. They're going in, in against my cab. Like my, my archers, I mean. Go for the war riders now. Focus them. Did we kill them? They have a few remaining. Please destroy them. A few war packs there. Oh, uh, they're breaking through. Aragon, support. Get in there and support quickly. Go after this war pack unit. Destroy them utterly. Going again against my rangers with their wargs. They're firing at the warg pack there. That's good. Aragon, save the guys from the wargs. I'm gonna reposition and go over there instead. Are we destroying the warg pack here? They are doing a lot of damage to us. Five remaining. Come on. We're losing a lot of cav here, but we are going to probably be able to destroy them, I hope. Pull out. I think we've done it there. Pushing through my lines. Fire at the walk riders. Support the front line now, Aragon. Get rid of that. They have some walk packs still alive. Not too nice. Yeah, you defeated that walk pack. You're gonna start charging them in the back now. Keep up the fire on the wargs. Get rid of them. They're fighting my guys here. Let them let them fight. It's okay. Ignore the bodyguard for now. Go for a charge there. Go for a charge on the snug archers. Only half the Let's take a look. We're firing close to them, but they're still gonna get their bloody charge off. Of course they are. They're not dying quick enough. Aragon, where are you? Are you gonna be charged here by the warg flipping pack? Yes, you are. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. Is he gonna be charged here by the bloody warg pack? Yes, he is. Oh. Try and get to safety, Aragorn. Oh, I think he's fine. He's fine. Destroy this war pack. I don't like these charges from them. I hate them. They're so scary. They're so flipping scary. War pack is chasing after us here. Try and run away from them. They're broken. Chase them off. Chase them off the map. Fire at them. Aragorn, go there. We don't. We're not going to lose Aragorn here. Everyone with ammunition left, focus this walk pack unit down. Don't give these flipping walk packs an inch. Oh, these archer militias getting destroyed. 
And we have a few walk packs still alive. That are not yet broken. We need to focus them down. Go. We're doing some work against them. Everyone is focusing them. Please get rid of them. Oh, they're getting in there. Hopefully they're going to break soon, though. The rest of their army is broken. They're broken. Archers, where is the um, goblin general? He's over there. Focus him down now. Aragon... You are... Where are you? You're over there. Go to safety. I don't want to risk your life. I don't want a Gandalf thingy again here. That would suck so hard. Cab, chase down the routing troops. Keep holding that line. They did do a fair bit of damage to my front lines in this battle. Just weaken the bodyguards. And this battle is going to be ours as well. Okay, Aragon, I'm going to send you in. Everyone is fleeing. Keep up the focus on the bodyguards. Okay, stop firing. It's time to press the attack. Don't kill your own troops. Let the cav chase everything down. Where's the general? Uh, he's over there. Kill him. He needs to die, otherwise they're going to survive. The goblins really are pulling armies out from their ass. <laughs> they can get a full stack from one settlement in a matter of one turn. They're just so pretty flipping quick on getting armies out. Ninety-seven. Exit. Three hundred and one losses. This army is really thinned out, but we've destroyed this army. Goblin Town should be open for the taking now, finally. Hopefully, if we take Goblin Town, the Goblin threat should be over. They might have settlements on the other side. They might have taken a, taken a few settlements from the Anduin Vale or something. But our problem with the Goblins should be no more if we take Goblin Town. The kills. Uh, Dunedain Rangers, 300 kills. Job well done. Deletion. Oh, look at that. The Goblins are making it easy for us again. They have one army outside of Goblin Town, we could just attack that and lure all their armies out from there. Another easy victory for us. They're just serving their settlements for us. We're just going to attack that army and then this army is going to join and we are going to destroy them and get Goblin Town as well. Captain Holden is attacking me. This is going to be a absolute loss. But remember, we're fighting in one of these forts, so we're going to try and take as many lives with us as possible. Let's move into combat. Yes, Milord. It looks like this fort has another type of way of working. This fort might actually be the best fort for us because look, we have one, two, three, four towers, and the square is over here because then we don't have to. Well, all of the towers should be firing all the time, I think, and we could fight on the square, which means that my guys are never going to break. Uh, the hard part though is, where should we put our archers? Stand them over there for now. Let the guys... Uh, general. This is the general. Stand in the back. Let these guys take the first brunt of the attack. Start the battle. Uh, this fort design might be the best fort design. For us. As long as these towers are firing. Uh, it looks like they're using their ballista first. Let's see if they can do any damage with that. Uh, where are they even? They're firing on the wall. They're not going to be able to break it down. These forts are pretty solid. They might hurt it a little bit, but it's not going to break from these ballista shots. But I do believe that this fort is the best fort. 
we can stay on the square and all of the towers are likely going to keep up the fire all the time. Tower, 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 tower. Tower, tower. If all of these towers are firing at all times, we might even win this battle. We have a lot of towers here. Uh, oh, this fort might be insanely OP here, if we're lucky. Yeah. As long as they're firing, this might be a win. Uh, they have actually done a fair bit of damage to the walls here. But I don't think they're going to be able to break through the walls. Looks like they have a lot of ammunition though. There we go, they're done. Let's see, towers, please, yes. The towers are firing, all of the towers are firing. Oh, this is going to be... They're going to hurt like hell in this one. Don't fire yet. Holy ammunition. Oh, this is going to hurt so much for them. This is going to hurt so much. Uh, don't they have a ram? They have a ram. We, oh, they, it's over there, okay. Oh, my lord, we're going to get so many kills in this fight. We might lose Our it, but we're going to get a lot of kills. It's time for butcher's work. And we can stay on the square. That's really good. That's really... Oh, look at that. All of the towers are firing. This is insane. This fort is OP as hell. This fort is insanely overpowered with all of the towers that it has. 4% of the army has been killed already. They're moving up on the wall. Should we fire on them? The savages. Maybe we should. Fire the savages. Let's see if we're getting some good shots off. Now we're doing a lot of arcing shots here. Um. Yeah, can you position over here? Yeah, get over there, watchers. Instead. The enemy's okay, we're not gonna fire gate. at the savages. They're breaking through now. The enemy have the walls. Yeah, let's see if my archers can get into a position where they can actually fire from. Don't try and go to the side here. Go over here if you can, archers, and fire at the pikes. It looks like all of my towers are still firing, I think. I, I think that they have a, a, too much for us to handle. Look at my melee forces, they're really weak. Uh, but hopefully with all of the towers still firing, we should be able to do a lot of damage to them. And remember, we are holding the square here, so my forces are never going to break. But my forces are not that strong, they're really weak. Something changes in the course of battle. Just fire at what you can fire on. They're, they're going to shut me down. Go for guard mode. Fire as long as you can. Are these tire towers firing? Yes, they are. They're firing. My guys are dropping fast, though. We're dropping too fast here. 15% of their force has been killed. They have too much for us to handle. Just fire in the blob here. Try and use all of your ammunition, they're just pushing through all of my units. <laughs> Maybe something uh, stronger here would be in its place. A warden or something would probably be good to have in this fort. But now we know that this fort is insanely OP uh, with all of the towers that it has. They have too much here though, they're pushing through with everything. Sadly we're not going to win here. Hopefully we're doing a fair bit of damage though to them. 21% has been killed. Look, look at the horse. They're just pushing in with everything they have. We're gonna try. Look at them. They're just like a virus. It's like a zombie horde plowing through everything. It's incredibly overpowered to do it like this when you're just pushing through because they're destroying everything so fast. General lies slain uh, upon these the battlefield. archers might break soon. They're wavering. We might need them to go to the square and fight to the bitter end instead. We don't want them to break. We want them to fight to the to the end. They're broken. Get back to the square. Go into melee. Fight for the square. Just fight as long as you can. Get as many casualties. These pikes are just pushing in as well. Yeah, there we go. Going to combat the fight. 31% of the army has been killed. Remember, this is a pretty damn large army. Uh, so the fact that we have killed 32% now already is pretty. Th with these kinds of troops, it's it's worth it. It's worth it every day. Yeah, they're likely going to heal, but they didn't have a general here, I don't think so. 
longer my guys can stay alive, the better. The more kills we are going to get from the towers. This is an incredibly overpowered fort. Look at the amount of tower shots that are being shot all the time here. If we just had one overpowered or decent unit in here that could do a shield wall or something, we might have won here. 36% of the armor has been killed. The towers are just raining hell on them. 37. We have a few Breland militias left. Uh, he's, oh, did he get a kill there? Yeah, he did. Well done, mate. Our foes taking control uh, of the there fort. We go. We've been dealt it's done. It's defeated. over. 38% of their army has been killed. That's pretty well. Pretty decent. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Soul has lost 1,000. A third of their army got destroyed here in this fort. And my guys that I had inside were Breland militia. They actually... Some of them did get a few kills as well. Uh, this fort is the fort that we want to garrison. All the time. To weaken Angmar. Good job. Good job. Mm, yes. A sad day that we did lose those forces. But a good day because we, we did a lot a of kills. We and they see. went straight for Ostsul with Captain Odegavia. Um, their general is in the war unit, so let's take them out. They are about to be utterly destroyed. Let's do it. We attack. Let's try and destroy this army as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm gonna use all of my volunteers on the bridge here. I want to destroy it as quickly as possible. The rest of the units are gonna stay here uh, on the square. And the rangers are just gonna move out and support them. Start the battle. Get the volunteers to stand. The first unit can stand over there. The other one can stand behind them. Rangers. One of you stand over there. One stand over there. And the general can stand over there. Good. Take off fire at will. We don't want you to fire just yet. Get into position. Try and do as much damage as possible to them. If they come to the square, let them. Uh, my rangers are going to fire on them. We still have a decent army. We are going to win here. There's no... We're not going to lose. These volunteers are going to do a lot of damage to them as well. Remember, their general is already on the way. He's going to die swiftly. So they're going to break easily. Go for guard mode. Hold the line. Archers, weaken these wargs. Just... Get two or three wallies on them. See if we can assassinate. Okay, we just one wally then. See if we can assassinate their general here. Yeah, uh, he's fleeing already. <laughs> they did try to push though. See if he's gonna return. I think he might. Yeah, he's gonna return. He's going to move for us again. Let's fire at him. Let's see if we can assassinate him. Hopefully we can. I really want to get him killed. I think we killed him. Did we kill him? No, he's over there. Okay. One more volley. And then we're going to focus on something else. He's stopping there. Come on, get rid of him. Get rid of the Angmar in general. And he's fleeing again. One more volley, just kill him because other, then their other forces are going to be so weak. Let's take a look. Uh, he's just surviving. Barely. Yeah, he survived. Fire at the Hillman. Take them on. He's not going to return. He, it's only him left. So he's likely not going to return. We might even kill him. Let their general just run away. Fire at the orc fighters and savages. These units are likely already totally exhausted, as they always are when they run like this. Just fire in the blob where they're grouped up. These pikes can be scary, and we need to try and focus them down as well. Hillmen are moving in. Are they trying to push? 
No, they're locked in combat now. That's good. Keep them locked in combat. We've killed 12% of their army. We haven't killed too many yet. But as soon as we have the opportunity, I want to focus on the pikes. They can really push through your units quickly. I don't want them to do that. Yeah, focus the pikes now. Yeah, they're shaken. My volunteers are holding the line. Good. We still have one reserve volunteer in the back here. That could help. And hold the line longer. Keep up the fire on those bloody pikes. Now, they are scary. They could really push through quickly. Their general is running away, right? Now he's over there. He's running to the hills. He survives. They're locked in combat. That's good. Oh, look at this beautiful blob. Look at this beautiful blob here. This is just beautiful. Wonderful to see. We're getting a lot of kills here. On these pikes, hopefully. A lot of them are shaken. We're doing a lot of damage. These volunteers are still holding the line pretty effectively. And we're dishing out so much damage to them here. When they're clumped up like this. As long as they don't start pushing, we know that when they start pushing, they're going to break through. Volunteers are doing a pretty well done job here. They're doing really good. But the pikes are beginning to move forth now. It's not that nice. As long as they're not pushing through though. These guys are holding the line. 100 guys still alive so we're, we're safe. Here comes the push though it looks like. We still have one more unit that we could rely on. To hold the line. Just keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. We have killed 46% of their army. We still have one defender that should be able to defend for a long time. Yeah, hold the line. Hold that line. These guys are still fresh as well. And we're still bombarding them with shots here. 51%. This unit is going to die soon. But they're still holding. Focus down the pikes. These, these volunteers are going to be able to hold. Oh, look at this. We're just bombarding this area with shots. And the only casualties we're taking is from the volunteers this far. Poor, poor volunteers. Their only purpose is to die <laughs> and hold the line. They're wavering, a lot of them. Keep this up. Uh, are they going to try and do another push? A lot of them are breaking here. A lot of them are breaking. Maybe we could get the chain route we desperately want here. I think almost everything is broken except a few hillmen and pikes. No, everyone is broken. Chase them up, down. And archers. I wanted to continue firing on them. There we go. This entire line has been broken. Keep chasing. I want to kill this entire force. 73%. Keep chasing. I don't care if we do friendly fire here. Okay, let them return to the fight. You are going to rush after the ballista. Stop firing. Wait with your ammunition. If they return, some of these units might return. Yes, these guys have returned. Might see some more returning forces. These guys might return. They're pretty healthy still. Yeah, they're returning. Good. We're going to use the ammunition we have left on these guys that are returning. Generally, you can start weakening the Angmarim infantry. There we go. Rangers, give them a volley. Stop. Save your ammunition. <laughs> You're chasing. You're exhausted. You're never going to be able to catch these units. They had one more unit somewhere. Uh, these hillmen here. Uh, 
Let's use the last bits of ammunition that we have and fire on the hillbed. There we go, we're out of ammunition. 86% of their force has been killed. Let's run after them. Let's try and kill them and chase them down. Chase them down. My volunteers are almost at the ballista unit. Get there. They're firing at us. Like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go. 90%. They're getting a few kills on me here. But we are going to be able to tie them up soon and hopefully annihilate them. Remember though, my guys are exhausted. They're likely going to lose a fair few troops. So it doesn't really matter because they're going to respawn anyways. Just annihilate these ballista forces. Look at that. We're losing a lot of units here. Are we going to win? We might even lose against the Ballista here. No, we're going to win in the end. The is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Get in there and destroy everything. There we go. 95%. Excellent. This Angmar army, this once fully stacked Angmar army is no more. They're also utterly defeated. There we go. Glorious victory and the battle heroic victory. We lost um, a few guys, but only from the volunteers. Maybe we should take this path every time they attack here from this day forth. Look at the kills. 663 kills on this range, 540, 264. The experience on these ranges is going to be insane. We want to try and get these guys up to gold as well. Well done. Ostsul is saved once again. Another great victory. Let's see, are they going to send even more armies our way? Let them, uh, because we are just destroying everything in our path. Uh, we should probably try and fight that. No, Kerando's fallen, that's not nice. Mountain Orcs scatter. Do they have like two regions left then, I guess? They're, they have likely gotten another Doomstack somewhere. Uh, they might have a settlement down here somewhere. Over here. But uh, we don't bother, we're just going to take... Oh, they're doing it once again. Goblins, you absolute buffoons. What are you doing? Construction report, Kaluniak meeting hall, Kamet Brin has upgraded this one. We're going for the library there. Kaluniak, uh, go for the roads. Dunedain Rangers, Deadman's Dyke, good. Uh, over here after the blacksmith. We might actually go for the steward's hall here to get another free upkeep slot. I think we would benefit from that. Is there anything else we could build? Still under siege by Dunland here. We can let them attack us. We could sell it forth and weaken them, but I want them to attack. Are we still under siege at Tharvad? Yes, we are. Maybe we should sell it forth. Let's take a look. We cannot do the night attack. More Orthanc Wardens. No, we want them to attack. We want them to attack. We want the towers to do the majority of the work against those units. Tildewin, nothing. Ostul, we won't be able to do anything. Retrain the troops. And Numinous and Deadman's Dyke is getting buildings. Uh, Ranger Hideout, we should be able to get something here. We cannot afford anything. Queue up the Mason's Guildhouse though, because we are going to get Goblin Town and we are going to give it away to Casa Doom. Let's attack this army, let's lure the other army out, and let's destroy them all. Let's take Goblin Town, let's do it. Um. We have the opportunity to do so, so let's do it. Let's bloody well go. Master your I'm really hoping that this is going to be the last fight with the goblins in this campaign. I want to be done with this. These goblin bastards. Uh, I recognize this battle map. I did fight in this one when I played my High Elven campaign. As always, we have the ranged superiority. We're going to use that to maximum effect. Uh, what do we have here? Some spears. Get them over there. Start the, the battle. Okay. Melee line. Go forth. Archers. Follow. Cavalry. You know the drill. Weaken their wargs. <laughs> as much as you can. They have a few wargs. One warg there. They have three war units. Remember, this army needs to be wiped out completely. Um, so we need to destroy the wargs. We cannot let them escape. Everyone needs to die so that the goblin town is open for the taking. Aragon, you're going to support somewhere as well. Let's fast forward. 
Let's go forth and weaken them. They might outrange me because they have the hill here. Which is not that nice. Yeah, they're likely going to be able to outrange me. Are these... Well, no, it's only riders. Okay, well then weaken the riders. They won't be able to fire at me, so it's fine. We need to be... We have the scouts here. They are the ones that can fire on us. Kite back a little bit. Okay, they're coming for me. Melee line. Yeah, take this position here. But, uh, archers. You're over there, you need to go forwards a bit more so that you can actually fire at something. Slow down the speed. Spears, you know the drill. Go for shield wall. And weaken the wargs. Fire everything you have on the wargs. Getting dangerously close here. They're turning, good. Keep up the focus on the wargs. Destroy this unit first. And then move on to the next one. They're, they're shaken. I don't like that. We don't want them to run away. That's nothing that we want. We want them to die. All of them. These cavaliers might actually be ready to charge them down. Save your ammunition. Fire at the fleeing troops if they flee. Okay. So you're killing your own troops here. Some of you are doing the arcing shots. It's pretty weird. They're wavering. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a general somewhere in this unit? There we go. I think we've wiped that unit out. Yeah, go for the war riders. Ignore the crossbows. Let them fire at us. Uh, we're not going to bother with them just yet. Just get rid of the wargs. We have one warg unit over here. They haven't entered the battle map. Oh, no. I don't like that. That's not nice. Don't like that at all. We need them to enter the battle map, otherwise we won't be able to kill them. Get rid of these wall riders. That's not a good thing. That's not good at all. Mm, maybe we should try and get one spear unit over to that area and try and get into this unit and hopefully we can destroy it that way as much as possible. I'm not sure it's gonna work. We really want that war unit to, to enter the battle map. Are they fleeing? No, not yet. Get every single war destroyed. I don't want a single war to stay alive. Okay, we can stop now for a moment. Go for the Black Pit crossbows. Goblin band are marching after us. Go for the crossbows. Goblin infantry is moving forwards. Aragon, I want you to support if they fight us. Look at how fast they are. They're so fast. Support against the goblins. Goblin band is moving in. Well, they're gonna face a mighty spear wall here. Keep up the focus on the these units. Uh, looks like their general is moving in now. In you fire at them, trying to destroy their general. Still is going to focus down the crossbows. Where's their general? He's over there. Still alive, but my doing a dying cavalry should be able to kill him, hopefully. He's going into combat now. Is he going to charge straight into Aragon? Aragon is over there, I think. Yeah, he is. He's going to die soon.
Well, let's just charge, I guess. We need this warg unit to die. This sucks that they're stuck there. Oh, they're... Okay, they're gonna break now. Everyone is gonna break. Behold how our yeah. cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Spears, what I want you to do, I want you to go over here. Go over here. Let's see if we can kill them. We have to try and get to them. They have um, lost half their men. Let the fight fight out. Or no, no, don't do that. Go, go, go chase these guys down. We, we, we don't want to chase everyone down yet. Continue the battle. We need to go to these units and try and kill as many of those guys as possible. Otherwise, they're going to go back to Goblin Town and we won't be able to take Goblin Town in this turn. I really want to take Goblin Town. You're going to stop fire as well. Stop. Uh, leave these guys alone. Let them flee. We're going to take care of them later. Let's destroy these guys. Let the spears move over to the war units in the back there. You're still chasing after these units. Let these guys flee. Mop up the big large unit here. Spears. Hopefully we can destroy a few of them if we just move into their unit here. I'm really hoping that we can. Alright, another great victory. Uh, hopefully we can uh, mop up Goblin Town. I don't want to besiege it. They're going to get a few garrison troops, I think. And we don't want to... We're likely just going to take it down easily, but uh, I don't want to. I want to take it now. I want to get to Goblin Town now. I don't want to waste another turn just um, getting in there. Don't kill everyone yet. Keep a few of them alive. Um, this unit is the one we're going to keep alive. If we want to get to the walks here, we need to destroy as many as possible. Yeah, haven't entered. Hopefully we can make them enter if my spears are getting in there. Really hope so. This unit is no more. Help out with this unit. Let this army run this way that they're running. Don't go for it just yet. Let the spears position themselves just into this war unit. And hopefully we can lure them into the battlefield that way. So that we can destroy them utterly. Hopefully we can. Let's see. Oh, it looks like we are fighting them. Yeah, we are fighting them. Oh, they're not doing anything in the return. Oh, Lord. Poor wargs. Keep fighting them. Destroy as many as you can. Everyone needs to die. Everyone we can destroy needs to die. Okay, where is the unit? We have one unit there. Destroy that one. Enemy <laughs> general fallen, yes. They're wavering, still waiting to end the bloody battle map. We need to kill as many as possible here. Kill as many as possible. Wipe out the majority of this unit. Position like that. Prepare to chase after this unit, the last remaining unit. Wipe out every single one that we can wipe out. I do wonder, can my archers fire the ones that are outside? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, we can destroy. Can we destroy this unit as well? We have two more units that we should be able to destroy. Go forth, get them destroyed. Please. No. Position over there, Sons of the Fallen. Try and destroy everything you can. They have two walks that we should be able to destroy here. Look, they're still fleeing. We need to follow them and be prepared to destroy them. There we go. You are fighting that one. Good. That's one unit. Kill it. There we go. They're dead. 
pull back. Archers, get to this area. <laughs> let's see if we can fire on them. I don't think we can, but let's try. You're still gonna follow them. Archers are almost there. Oh, you're fighting them. Don't do that just yet. Keep them on the battlefield. Don't destroy them yet. Archers. Spears, move away. Let the archers fight. We'll let's see if they can fire. I don't think so. No, they cannot. They have a few walks remaining. Okay. Well, let's mop up the last goblin band. And this should be the victory we want. Hopefully it's enough. This is a clear yeah. victory. I don't like that the war didn't enter. They have a few survivors. 20 of them. Hopefully this army is destroyed though. I'm really hoping so. Great victory once again. Hopefully Goblin Town is ours now. Let's see if we have done it. Execute! No, it looks like they survived. No, they, did they died. Okay, good. Good. They are no more. Enemy camp sacked. Let's go in here. Let's go in. Let's sack it for the money. Moya's lead is dead. And they have actually been destroyed. Yes. They have been destroyed. The goblins are no more. They didn't have a region in this area. Oh, this is so good. Look at the money we're earning from here, though. We're earning so much money here. 3,000 gold coins each turn. That's insane. That's absolutely bonkers. Destroy the war breeder. But I don't want another front line. Even though we're earning a fair bit of money here, I don't want another war with Gundabad. I don't want it. Um, yes. I really don't. My, lord. My, king. Your order is my, lord. my king. Oh, the dwarves, of course. Yes, Let's move out. Uh, get the cab into the fort for a turn. Okay. You cannot move. Okay, yes, I guess. Lord. You can move. Orders. By your command. Flipping weird stuff. Orders, my lord. Yes. We can go no further, my lord. There we go. Yes, my lord. Goblin Town is going to be sold. Even though it's a huge moneymaker, I really don't want it. Uh, because I don't want to fight the Gundabad as well. They are likely pretty powerful at this moment, so I don't want to fight them. Let's give it to Kassadum. Give region, problem. rich, Goblin Town. Make demand. 50k, I'm not going to ask for, for anything more than that. It's too much. 50k. Alliance, can we offer you that as well? I really want an alliance with you. Make offer. We accept. Good, we're now allied to them. See if we can get military access with them as well. Accept it. Thank you. Good, we have money in the banks. Alliance announced. Trade increased. High King Aragon. Well done. Let's move into Kemeth Breen now. Good. And they actually got a garrison. Dwarven Travelers. How glorious. They sh oh, we should have destroyed this building. We didn't do that. Well, they did get a garrison there. That's insanely nice. Good. The goblin threat is no more. They're, they have been defeated. That's huge. Yes, my lord. Go to Kemeth Bryn. We are going to try and retrain all of the forces we can. Um, and we have 50 flipping K in the bank now. And we have two turns on the school. We are going to go for the school before we go for the House of Kings. But after the school, the House of Kings is the prioritized building to go for. Metrith, even though we're under siege here, we are going to queue up a building here. Go for the millet garrison building here. Uh, bodyguards, please get them. You, Iorthon, move for the ranger hideout. See if you can get this place happy with us so that Halbarad can free himself up. Get the ballista as well. There isn't too many buildings to be constructed at this moment. Hopefully Dunland is going to attack me in one of these regions. Metrith and Tharbad would be ideal. I want to, to do that. It would be the greatest thing that could happen. Still can't retrain those units. Oh, I'm so happy. The goblin threat is no more. It's so great. Uh, we should probably try and get some more troops here. Because they have a lot of armies here. Get the archers. Get everyone. Get these units. 
Let's end the turn. Let's see if Dunland strikes me. No, but Bree is helping us. Bree is actually helping us against Dunland at the Metrite area. Uh, we cannot say no to this. We cannot say no to this. Hopefully we can wipe out all of these wardens and all thank bloody gods now. Let's move in and let's take this disgusting Dunlending army out. What do you have with you? You have some merchant militias, you have a cell sword unit, that's a good unit. You have some cap, that's good. Thank you, Bree. You have been heroes for us in this campaign. You have really helped us. Uh, look at this. Bree is like, they're sending armies. They're tying up Angmarim's forces here as well. They're bloody heroes. That's what they are. Let's move in and let's take them out. Let us hunt some Dunlendings. Start the battle immediately. Let's flip and go. It's time now. Dunland is going to flip and die. Let's destroy this all thank God and all thank Warden army that they have here. It looks like they're hiding in the woods, these disgusting assholes. Uh, my army is over here. We're likely going to need to use our army. My rangers can fire immediately. Fire. We're going to try and pull up a defensive formation here. Uh, we have a few. These guys, they can actually shield wall. These Dunedain um, armsmen. Pretty nice addition that we can recruit them. Both of you. Shield wall. And position somewhere on there. We have some cav. I really want to upgrade the armor on these guys. They should really look a lot better when we upgrade them. Rangers. From up over there and harass the she shite out of them. Hopefully yeah, the Breland army is moving up as well. That's good. But long spears. Clan Hunters, see if we can potentially get a charge off against the Hunters with this Dunedain Cavalry unit. We don't want to engage them if we don't have to. Uh, we're going to try and keep the front lines as they are. Done landing Long Spear, focus them down and get some bonus kills on those units while we're focusing them. Where's those all thank units? All thank God. Bree, you are flipping so cute. I love you. I love you, Bree. You're sending the best you have to offer. Some hobbits and some men at arms that are farmers and things like that. You're sending the things you can to aid us. And I love you for it. So cute. So flipping cute. Long spears. Two of them are moving forwards. Uh, clan spearmen are moving in against my spears and my armsmen. They're not going to fare too well against those kinds of troops. Keep up the focus on the long spears. Get them destroyed. All thank wardens are in the back. All thank god. General, you can focus the all thank god. You have armor piercing missiles. You can actually do some damage to him. The other archers won't be able to do any damage to them because he has too much armor. You can focus on the long spears in the back. That Bree, you need to act now. You need to start getting here. Uh, Cav, charge down these Axemen, quickly. Go for a charge. Uh, when Bree arrives, this should turn into the party that this battle was always meant to be. Uh, they've stopped, good. You can also charge them, they're wavering. Just stop them, don't let them come to my archers. Go for a quick little charge just to stop them. Go. You're going to charge them again, and you're going to get the hell out of there. Try and break these axemen. The they're broken. The Good. There we go. They're redirecting a lot of their armies towards Bree now. All thank warden wardens are moving over there. That's really good. Try and chase after these guys. Do not focus the long space anymore. They're almost dead. You are going to focus the cell swords, and you are still going to focus the all thank god. Now you've stopped that. Are these guys going to survive? Yeah, they are unfortunately going to. Try and kill as many as you can, Rangers. No, you won't be able to. You have your bows. Go for the cell source. Weakening. Okay, it's time now. All of the archers. Go for the all thank god. I'm not going to charge the all thank god. They are... Okay, they're moving for me. The cell swords. No. Focus on the all thank god. Let's see if we can charge the cell sword with you. You are going to try and support Bree in this side. 
All Thank Wardens are fighting hard against the Greenway Riders and the Bandobras Archers. I'm not sure that you even did do the charge there, but pull back and try and do it. Clan Hunters, pull back. We need to try and charge the cell sword. You can focus on the cell swords. Go forth, both of you. Go against all, thank God. Try and start fighting them. Okay, let's take a look. You're firing at um, fire at all thank wardens. Bree has been the biggest cuties in this campaign. They really have been. They have been so cute. Oh, they're chasing after us. No, they're broken. The Take that off. And uh, chase these guys off the map. I can't believe Bree's actually doing something to help me. It's insane. I've never seen this before, that the AI is actually doing something to aid you. It's something new. Go for charge against these cell swords again. After this victory here, we should be able to maybe move out with this army and possibly even try and strike the Dunlending army that is on our side of the river. If we take that place out, Tharbad is the only region that they could attack me on, I think. They are broken as well. These Orthanc Wardens are never going to break, are they? I don't think so. Orthanc Guard, 60 remaining. These Cell Swords are also pretty tough to take down. Go after the Dunlending Long Space. Kill them off. One of the rangers focus on the cell swords. Get rid of them. They're never breaking. These guys are pretty tough. Oh, thank God. 58 remaining. We are going to kill them. Clan hunters are broken. Chase after them. These all thank wardens are still fighting, though. They're fighting some merchant militia. Killing everything in their path. We're going to let Bree deal with these guys. Make sure that you destroy this entire unit. Kill the clan hunters. Oh, thank God. 53 remaining. We're doing it. All of you. Uh, what do you want to fire on now? Good Clan Hunters. The enemy lies dead. Now the oh, thank God should break. Try and kill as many as you can. Don't let them flee. Focus the oh, thank God down. Everyone needs to die. This unit is broken as well. Glorious. Stop firing. Cav, go after the clan spearmen. Good victory. Thank you, Bree. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Just fire everything you have on the cell swords. They're pretty close to you. You should be able to maximize the damage. Oh, two of them survived. Well, Bree. You came in quite handy here. You saved us. And we destroyed those all thank wardens and all thank guards because of you. So, once again, Bree, you have been champions for us in this campaign. Thank you for aiding us. Kill wise, uh, do the nine rangers. Got the most kills. Bree, you flipping chads. Bree is chads in this campaign. And we're going to merge with you soon. Um, you deserve to be merged with. Look at that! He just went down and, and supported us, and now he's returning back to his own territory. Absolutely insane. Never seen that before. They're actively trying to aid us. It's so nice to see. It's incredibly nice to see. Let's see if they finally attack me at Tharbad now. We really want them to, just so that we can be done with that force. They are. They are attacking me here. Good. Uh, yeah, all thank wardens can do some damage. Uh, the reinforcing army shouldn't be able to do a single thing. Let's move in and let's take this army down as well. We, attack. we have the towers. Start deployment. Yeah, sorry guys. It, do we have the all thank wardens over here? 
that is actually pretty damn nice because hopefully this tower is going to be destroyed. I'm going to put these two Dunherd Berserkers here. They are more piercing. They should be able to do quite well against these Wardens here. So we're going to put them there. Uh, Rangers and Brelanders. Stand on the walls and fire. Take that off. You are going to stand over there as well and fire at will. Woodland Hunters. Stand over there. Fire at will. Rangers. Take that off. We're going to put you into position over here when we can. You are going to be on the square. Wardens. I want you to guard the entrance. Bandits. Uh, you can support from the flanks. Stand over there. Brilla Militia, support on the flanks. Let's group up the melee forces here. There we go. Start the fight. We might be able to destroy this uh, siege tower. I think we are going to. Fire at the raiders. Woodland hunters fight the clan spearmen. And what do we have here? Frekalingi harriers. You have a ballista. But I don't think that you are going to be able to break through, are you? Let's get the cab over here so that we're in control over this area. Just in case something happens. And they do break through. Which I don't think that they are going to be able to. These Dunherd Berserkers should be able to do quite the work against the Wardens because of the fact that they are more piercing. And hopefully my bloody towers are going to keep on firing on this siege tower. I really want it to be destroyed. Try and focus on the tower and not on the ram. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give yeah, five percent only. It's not ideal. There we go. Keep up the fire on the that one. Seventy percent now. There we go. Uh, Ranger general, you should be able to win here. I think it's pretty scary to put you up on the wall like this, but I think you should be able to destroy the these quite guys yeah, quite easy. Our cunning foe there we has go. reached our walls with their siege tower. We must repel them. No, they're not breaking through. They are firing on the walls, but they're not going to break through. I don't think. Seventy percent still. How does it look here? Yeah, they're shaking already. Uh, fire at the Frekalinger Harriers instead now. Both, all of you. 70% still. Captain Beozil is dead. These guys are likely going to break soon. Where's my general? He's over there, I think. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. Good. Fire at the Frekalinger. How is it looking on the other side? Are they breaking through? 22%? No, they're not going to break through. How does it look on the siege tower? 20%? We're not getting there. Dunheard Berserkers. You should be able to do a fair bit of damage to them, though. With your armor the piercing. Ram has the gates. Hopefully you are. Uh, we're not going to be able to destroy this tower, though, sadly. We really wanted to, but we're not going to be able to. Okay, Dunedine, Spears, prepare to... Yeah, they're shaking already, they're not going to survive. Oh, they're broken already. <laughs> they will thank Wardens already. Cav, get over here, we want you to chase down enemy troops. 47% now. Imagine if we could get this thing destroyed. Archers, stop what, you, what you're doing. Don't fire anymore. That includes you as well. Everyone's broken. Cav, get over here and chase everything down. How is it looking on this side? Are they still... No, they're not getting through. Take this way out. Yeah, they are breaking all right. Even these guys are the they are breaking as well. Look at Pursue that. Cab, 
destroy everything you can. Get over here. No, all thank wardens. There you go. Eat that. Eat shit. When is the other army going to attack me, though? That's what I'm wondering here. They're finally moving now. Mop up all of their wardens. The enemy are badly there we go. One guy can survive. Go after these guys now. They're pretty healthy still. Yeah, a lot of them. There are a lot of units here. Mop them all up. We're seeing some forces. Dunlin and Raiders are moving in. Kill everything. Oh, he's still running around. These Orthanc Warden dude. We're getting loads of experience here. On the cab. There we go, they've been wiped out. What do we have here? Clan Spearmen, chase them down as well. The enemy siege tower there we go. Is Towers destroyed. destroyed. Let them move in, we have spears just waiting to smash everything in the path. The They're moment, broken the all this instantly. Let's pray it remains as such. Archers, why don't you weaken these guys with some fire? The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Well, this battle wasn't so hard. Can't say that it is. Let them escape. We've killed 45% of their army. My archers are firing on these raiders. They don't even want to enter the battlefield, it looks like. Cabri, prepare yourself to just charge them down when they do break. Should break fairly soon. They might even die before they break from the towers and whatnot. Are they just gonna stand there eating all of the damage? These long spears seems to want to do the same. These hunters are going in though. They're likely going to break instantly as well. Yeah, they're shaken already. The is Fighting my spear wall. Will be ours. Yeah, they're gonna die. Three remaining. Cav, prepare to chase everything down. We are going to move a fair a few troops over to the ballista unit that they have here. Send the bandits over there, run them over. Walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken. Uh, there we go. The first units are broken. Sending some guys up on the ladder here. A few long space. I don't like that. We're gonna fight my general here. I don't like that. That's not that nice, actually, because they might get a few kills on me here. But he's over there. I think he's safe. Uh, hopefully they're going to break soon. I don't the want a tower to fire in his head they and kill my general here. Yeah? That would suck. Balls. We need this general to stay alive. Uh, wavering, 51, how is it going on the walls? We're getting shredded on the walls. The oh, I thought he died there for a second. Victory will be ours. But he's fine. Good tidings. The there, enemy we go. there we go, they're going to break all of them now. And my general seems to be safe, good. Chase everything down. Another successful victory. Bandits are all soon at the ballista units. These 
done her berserkers are going to come in so handy against the heavily armored opponents of Dunland. Oh, they have returned. Move out then, all of you, and fire at them. If they're not going to do anything, just fire at them. Bandito is going. You're destroying the Ballista. Excelente. Well done. Another secure, safe victory. Get all of the archers out and let's finish them off with archer fire. Oh, no, they're breaking. Uh, 97. Exit. Heroic victory was 153 guys, and we annihilated both of these armies. Beautiful. Some more Orthanc Wardens have been destroyed. Good victory. Great. Great. Another Dunlending army standing on the bridge. Uh, we're going to see a fair few of those armies. Imagine now if Bree could go against that army and attack them. That would be glorious. If we could get uh, some help with that army as well. Angmar is sending everything they have against us. Your orders. Yes. I shall continue tomorrow. No buildings has been completed. Let's take a look. Thorbad is going to go for that one. After that we're going for the Carpenter's Hut and after that we're likely going to go for the Bridge of Thorbad. Repair the walls. One turn for the school. And then the House of Kings is finally going to be started. Look at that. Yes, Angmar is already on the way. Your orders, my lord. To Kavathbrin. Yes, my lord. Uh, we won't be able to reach, but your get in there lord. with everything. Yes. Show yes, your presence here. They're not going to be able to take it. Great stuff. Your You're on your way towards lord. the Ranger hideout. Hopefully Honor. you can keep the flip in peace there. So that we can get him out of there. Okay, okay. Interesting. This is the region I'm talking about. This seems to be rebel still. But this is the region that I want to try and take from Dunlap. They might have more regions, but I think that this is the only, um, the only region that they have on this side of the river. Uh, I think. <clears throat> and Edwife has likely taken the rest of the regions here. So this is a region I really want to try, try and take as well. Bloody hell, I got something in my throat there. Uh, we might want to move out. Retrain what can be retrained here. Retrain the general as well. Yes, ma'am. Would you wish to Oh, hopefully the dwarves are not gonna fight the high elves. Let's take a little look here. No, they're not at war with each other. I really don't want them to be at war. High elves are at war with Dunland though, that's huge. Because they don't have any enemies up here anymore, so hopefully the high elves are just going to focus everything they have on the done landings. Come and get me, you coward. That is what I'm hoping for. This is where I'm going to end this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed. We're getting places. We have a lot of money. Uh, recruit some rangers. Recruit some spears here. Uh, because whenever Angmar might send an army down here. And we need, we need to be prepared for that. Glorious. This has been another great episode. The goblin threat is no more. And I'm super happy about that. It feels so flipping great. And we're beginning to carve ourselves a pretty solid empire. At the moment. And that makes me happy. And that makes me happy indeed. Should I toil the fog of war? We're at turn 58. We still haven't gotten the edit Lewin message. Um, is it ever going to happen? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's talk the Fog of War before we end it. Let's take a look at the map and see how it looks. Uh, we, we shouldn't look too much over here because what on earth is this? How? What? When did Gondor take Suduri? Are they at Warwick and Edwith or was it a rebel region? No. 
they are not at war with each other. This has to have been a rebel region. They likely have sent the fleet here. That's insane. That's pretty bonkers. I like that. This is funny. Gondor has taken Saturi. That's really interesting. Look at here. Look look at the Gondor frontier. Rowan is doing well. Dervath, Isengard. Please take I No, they're never going to take Isengard. They have too much power there. Gondor is besieging Gund. Isengard is not doing too well. They never do in version 5 though. Um, hopefully Gondor can take Gund as well. Look at that. Amroth is actually doing pretty well. Gobel Mirlons, Barad Horn, Gobel Tova, Tirithoros, Hathenur. Dol Amroth is really protecting Gondor at this moment. They've taken Hathenur. Gondor have lost Ker Andros and might lose Western Skerath. We, if Gondor loses these three key regions, they are going to have issues. They need to take Ker Andros back. But they have a lot of armies here. They should be able to do it. Interesting. Over here, things look... Pretty normal. Rune? No, maybe not actually. Rune is actually doing really well. They've taken this region here. They are already... Okay, Rune is doing really well. Gundabad is doing well as well. They're doing pretty solid. Vale of the Anduin are doing okay. Uh, they're usually dead by this time. Um, Roscobel. They have still. That's good. Uh, Lothlorien. Ro uh, Rohan took Fang on camp. Lothlorien has taken Edrachan, Karasgadon, Limhir, and Erwi. Hopefully Kassadum could send their armies up here and try and help against Gundabad. That would be the best thing that could happen. We still have a lot of rebel territories in this area uh, that hasn't been taken yet. The High Elves hasn't taken a single thing. Uh, pretty passive action overall. A few rebel settlements dotted around. Maybe Bree could take some of them. We are going to suck up their territory later. So it would be really nice if they took a few of these regions. Oh, I'm watching here. I shouldn't watch here. This is really nice though. That Gondor has taken this region. That's really weird. Well, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye to you all.